An excellent fictional movie is incomplete without a protagonist. Today, we're going to compare two of the most formidable assassins in their respective media empires. John Wick, the eponymous assassin from the John Wick film series, and Jason Bourne, Robert Ludlum's iconic fictional secret agent. This breakdown will help you choose a side should they ever face off. So let's get into it. John Wick In the John Wick film series, Keanu Reeves plays the title character, a former hitman. He finds himself drawn back into the criminal underworld he'd previously fled. The series was developed by screenwriter Derek Colsted and has become an American action thriller media franchise. The first movie was released in October 2014, there have been two more since then, and a fourth set to release in 2023. So far, the character of John Wick, portrayed by Keanu Reeves, has been central to the films. A spin-off film called Ballerina is set to release in 2023, as well as a TV spin-off series called The Continental. Before we go further, let's give you the backstory on John Wick. He was born in the Soviet Union to parents of Ukrainian, Russian, or Koryosarum descent, and was given the name Jardani Jovanovich. Sadly, his parents passed away while he was still very young. He was raised by a family friend who adopted him as his son. His new father was a Tarasov Russian mafia man. He was admired and feared by mafia boss Vigo Tarasov for his ruthlessness. He was taught to be an exceptional assassin by the director, a young lady who prepared him for the Belarusian group Ruska Roma. The various disciplines in which he trains to become an unrivaled master are martial arts, guns, tactical driving, bladed weapons, infiltration, and evasion. At some point, Giordani leaves Ruska Roma under the alias John Wick. Focus and determination are two of John Wick's most recognizable traits. His fighting skills were so exceptional that he became famous for killing three guys in a pub with a pencil. He became such a terrifying assassin that his enemies referred to him as Baba Yaga. We called him Baba Yaga. After the infamous witch from Russian folklore, John Wick's action is unparalleled in its variety, including many martial arts techniques such as judo, karate, kali, and the fictional gun fu. The fantastic and fast-paced gun fu, popularized by John Woo in the 80s with films like A Better Tomorrow and The Killer, is key to the franchise's success. Gun fu combines many firearm-based martial arts elements to produce a novel and unified combat style. Although films like Bulletproof Monk and Kick-Ass brought gun Fu to the United States, it wasn't until 2014 with the release of John Wick that the martial arts style finally gained the recognition it deserved. Director and creator Chad Stahelski and choreographer Jonathan Eusebio worked hard to make the action scenes as realistic as possible. Each scene's cinematography is stunning, emphasizing long takes that let the action unfold naturally. Many other action movies released in the 2000s and 2010s used shaky cam and had crazy amounts of editing, which made it hard to follow. Instead, John Wick breathed new life into the genre. He used several techniques standard in Eastern martial arts flicks, giving the action an unparalleled rhythm and tempo. With such brilliant choreography, each action sequence is a joy to watch. Realistic elements are added to each scene. For example, we see John reload his pistol several times amid a gunfight, often being halted and having to find another method to execute the thug. Undoubtedly, the action in John Wick accounted for the film's massive popularity. A number of the film's action sequences, including the Red Circle shootout and the knife room confrontation have been called the greatest of all time. John Wick may be an assassin you shouldn't mess with, but he's still human. Throughout the story, we watch him get shot and stabbed. He gets worn out from all the running, fighting, and shooting he had to do. John Wick's sleek appearance, no-nonsense demeanor, and desire for retribution are all traits that endear him to the audience. Because he's the most notorious assassin in history, we're instantly drawn into his narrative. With his stylish black suit and casual approach to murder, John Wick is perhaps one of cinema's most appealing killer, Jason Bourne. Here's a little background information on another famous assassin. Jason Bourne, the protagonist of many books and movies, is a famous fictional character. Jason Bourne has maintained his status as a cinematic all-time great. He's often regarded as the best anti-hero of the action movie genre. Jason Bourne's first appearance was in the book The Bourne Identity, published in 1980 by Robert Ludlum. He also appeared in 11 books by Eric Van Lusbader, beginning in 2004. The initial the initial book was later made into a TV series by filmmaker Oliver Stone and then into the Bourne movies. Four of these feature Matt Damon as Jason Bourne. The first is the 2002 film The Bourne Identity. The Bourne Supremacy, The Bourne Ultimatum, and the 2016 Jason Bourne are the three follow-up films featuring Damon. The Bourne Legacy was released in August of 2012 and stars Jeremy Renner. In interviews, Damon said that without Paul Greengrass, who helmed the second and third Bourne movies, he would not undertake another film in the series. A 
Originally named David Webb, Jason Bourne was born and raised in Missouri. He joined the U.S. Army and later worked as an assassin for the CIA's Operation Treadstone Black Ops Group. He left the Army when he was sent to kill the African dictator Nyquana Wambosi. He couldn't follow through on the assassination because of his children. The CIA thought Jason had betrayed them, so they tried to kill him. Jason was shot twice in the back. When he wakes up, he has no idea who he is. Matt Damon did an excellent job playing Bourne as an amnesiac who learns the truth about his life as an assassin for the top secret Treadstone program. All four films, including the fights between Bourne and several of his opponents, impressed audiences with their solid storylines and high-stakes action scenes. Jason Bourne, a Treadstone agent embroiled in a massive conspiracy, has the fighting skills and strategy to handle any situation. While standing in the heart of the American consulate, Bourne is confronted by Marine guards, all of whom he swiftly and efficiently eliminates. His methods are straightforward, violent, and merciless. Bourne called a meeting with the Guardian reporter Simon Ross after he realized that Ross was digging too deep into Treadstone. He wanted to warn Ross of the dangers if he continued to investigate. When CIA operatives swooped in, it was evident that his life was in jeopardy. Jason Bourne has a flexible and easygoing personality type. He loves his freedom and hates being tied down or controlled. He looks at life from a rational point of view. Because emotions aren't logical, he often finds them overwhelming. Jason is a very private person and he doesn't talk much about his personal life. He keeps to himself, but he also has a wild side that can catch people off guard. Jason is rebellious and unafraid to push limits. John Wick vs. Jason Bourne John Wick's good at just about everything. He's excellent at hand-to-hand -hand combat and even better with guns. Jason Bourne also has some serious skills. He's good with guns and fighting, but his natural talent is getting from one place to the other with stealth and incredible motorcycle action. John Wick is the cooler of the two, but Jason Bourne has more experience. What's your opinion? Let us know in the comments section. Be sure to check out more videos on our channel and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching.